Attorneys at the Santa Barbara County District Attorney's Office in Santa Maria take on some of the toughest cases in the county. Now they're advocating for themselves as they try to update offices they say are outdated and falling apart. KSBY's Melissa Newman is live in Santa Maria with details on new funds to improve the infrastructure of the DA's office. Melissa? Richard, last year attorneys went before the County Board of Supervisors to advocate for them moving their offices into the old Santa Maria Police Department building across the street, as opposed to putting more money into this building here that's nearly 70 years old. Now, while plans for that are still on hold, this week County Supervisors decided to allocate money to make attorneys feel more comfortable here for the time being. Our staff is genuinely afraid of that location. Public defender staff are genuinely afraid of this location, and there are reasons to be. In May of 2018, attorneys from the Santa Barbara County District Attorneys and Public Defender's Office tried to paint a picture for the Santa Barbara County Board of Supervisors about what they called the dangerous conditions they're working in. Problems like graffiti, electrical fires, and dead animals stuck in the ceilings for days. How would you feel? entering your lawyer's office, your doctor's office, or your CPA. And the first thing you smell is a dead animal. Do you think for one minute you would think that professional was there to represent you competently? One year later, Chief Deputy District Attorney Magna Cola says some things haven't changed. Right now we're still facing issues of the ceiling tiles uh, dropping on our staff on occasion. We'd like to rectify those, those situations whenever we can. Uh, we certainly still have space limitations, uh, too many people uh, crammed into too small a space. But many of their safety concerns have been addressed. A fence has been installed to keep homeless from sleeping inside the courthouse complex overnight, as well as more security features on the doors. On Tuesday, county supervisors allocated $35,000 for building updates, including repairs and a new kitchen. County Supervisor Greg Hart tells us in a statement, this funding will help the professionals who work every day to advance public safety, serve victims, and prevent crime. Now, this building is owned by the state, which adds to some complexity when it comes to funding sources. Magna Cola tells me he hopes that they come to a solution soon as they plan on having a larger caseload and adding on more attorneys as the population here in North County continues to grow. Live in Santa Maria, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. All right, Melissa, thank you. These funds come in part from the county's cannabis tax revenue funds. That is estimated to generate over $5 million next year.